Yo yo, this is Dover Black Hat Gaming. I do RPG games like Elder Scrolls and Fallout and many more. Subscribe to see more and enjoy the video. Old. And daughter keeps me fed. Skyrim, like my you know working days are done. No, it's people. You're from Cyrodiil. You know nothing about us. Nothing. Oh, I know enough. I what an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness for me. Everyone took up arms against them. Against the Dominion, huh? Why, that's not the same thing at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Hail the Imperial Legion. Hail the Stormcloaks. Hail Solitude and the Eight Divines. On this glorious day, we honor everyone. <laughs> Please, enjoy yourself. Please, enjoy the festivities. This is a day of peace and happiness when Imperials and Stormcloaks join together as equals. I'm so glad Victoria and Asgir chose a public reception. That way the entire city can share it. The Divines be from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. Dum dum diddy diddy dum 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 diddy diddy dum 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 diddy diddy ding dum 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 are you all enjoying yourselves? Please eat, drink, and make merry on this most happy of days. Today, the problems of Skyrim are not my problems, nor are they yours. Today, we are joined in peace and happiness. So please, enjoy yourselves. What you do here today? Victoria, no! Did you hear something? The bride has been murdered! Somebody help! Someone there? Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. Figured you could use a hand when the chaos erupted. I'll try and hold him off as best I can. You get back to the sanctuary. Huh? Someone there? <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. 
And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold, simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, the security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithis. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. It's a small town, with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Oculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago, when he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Oculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No, we need him to remain in charge, but... distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow, and deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. Show 
real order. Stay alert. When you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand. But you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Son, when the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything could go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. Farewell, Father. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Well, this is it then. Look after yourself, Gaius. You're doing your duty, and I'm proud of you, but you better come back to me. You hear? Oh, Fida. I may travel alone, but you know I carry you always in my heart. I'll see you soon. Trust me, we have nothing to say to one another. Citizen? I'm certain you wandered into the wrong building, friend. I'm fairly certain you wandered into the wrong building, friend. old woman who runs the orphanage has been murdered. Say, I had another run in with a deep skin. They represent the reason I'm here. I ignore them, Meren. Look, I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long well, time. Well met, friend. Help you. You've been in Riften for quite some time now, Lady Mjol. I fear that if your allegiance lies with fire, Riften has problems of its much own. To discuss. Now is not the time for exploration and discovery. I'm relieved to hear you say that. If you were to leave, I'd miss you terribly. Eren, I owe you my life. It would take a threat to all of Skyrim for me to depart. <sighs> My skill in battle is unmatched. For you. I think you've had plenty, Volwolf. Maybe Look, I already said doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. I said give me some more drink, or I'll have your head on a bike.
Suit yourself. Last mistake. Lucky hit. That's enough. This ends now. By the gods, did that really just happen? have returned. I don't Look, know what I to believe. If it's true. Ah, oh, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well, and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero has been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell icon. See you all on the next video. Enjoy life. And stay gaming.